To report speech, we often use verbs like said or announced. For example, the manager announced that the company was in trouble. But we can also use nouns. The manager's announcement that the company was in trouble worried us. Making reported speech into a noun phrase can be useful. It allows us to say more about the report. In this example, the reported speech is the subject of a longer sentence. The rest of the sentence adds information about the report. An alternative is to use the report as the object. We hadn't expected the manager's announcement that the company was in trouble. Most reporting verbs have noun equivalents, like announce and announcement. Here are some more. Suggest, suggestion. Admit, admission. Assure, assurance. Demand, demand. Insist. Insistence. Notify. Notification. A few verbs don't have exact equivalents. Said. Statement. He said that we shouldn't worry. His statement that we shouldn't worry seemed inappropriate. If a reporting verb can be followed by a that clause, the noun can also be followed by a that clause. Notice that although we can omit the word that after a reporting verb, we must include that after the equivalent reporting noun. If a reporting verb can be followed by an infinitive, the equivalent noun can be followed by an infinitive too. He promised to keep us informed of developments. We appreciated his promise to keep us informed of developments. Some other verbs and nouns that can be followed by an infinitive include advise, advice, offer, offer, promise, promise, remind, reminder. Refuse, refusal, instruct, instruction. Most reporting nouns can also be followed by a preposition and a noun. There was general agreement to the plan's changes. We've received notification of another meeting tomorrow.